watch me make jerk oxtail pasta. Oh, it's so good, y'all, it's so good. <laughs> make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Make sure you slice some onion and cut you a yellow, an orange, and a green bell pepper. I forgot to get you red, so hey. You're also gonna cut a few of these grape tomatoes in halves, or you can use cherry tomatoes too. But I'm gonna add this at the very end while my pasta is cooking, okay? Always make sure your hands are washed. <laughs> so got my onion sliced. All right, I got my yellow peppers cut, cut, cut. All right, that's one of my green peppers, freshly cut. And I'm gonna actually leave some of the seeds. I don't like spice and everything. I know that the seeds are supposed to eat, but I'm gonna leave a little bit just for that extra flavor when we put it all together. All right, and we got the orange bell peppers completed. So all my peppers are now finally cut. And make sure that you are careful when you're using a knife. Don't go too fast, all right? <laughs> all right, so I completed cutting all of my onions and all my different peppers. Now we're gonna go check on our boiling oxtails. All right, they are boiling pretty good. And of course, I'm making sure that they boil on medium for about an hour and a half, just to kind of make sure that they're tender. If they're not close to being tender, then I'll cook for another 30 minutes before finishing, you know, when I put everything together. All right, so I got my water ready for my noodles to go in. Just gonna wait for it to boil. Um, what you see on the bottom is some Himalayan sea salt that I got in there. Uh, never forget to season your water. <laughs> us, us, us black folk, we like to season our water. That way you have some flavor. Whether it's rice, whether it's your pasta, it don't matter. Season your water. So I'm going to put chicken um, bouillon powder and garlic powder and a little bit of onion powder in my water. All right. All right, so I added my bouillon powder, garlic powder, and onion powder, and I'm about to wait for it to boil some before I add in my noodles. And then you can use whatever noodle packet. I'm actually gonna be using uh, fettuccine pasta noodles for this overall dinner. All right, so we got some boiling action with our noodles. And then, Still waiting on our oxtails to get tender.
right, so we got it seasoned with some jerk seasoning, garlic powder, roasted garlic powder, black pepper, a little bit of onion powder. And I'll probably put a little bit more butter in it. Make sure it's cooked evenly until it's tender. I tell you, this smells so good right now. This smells so good. <laughs> All the herbs, the spices, this smells so good. Come on, smell it, smell it, smell it, smell it, smell it. You, cut, you can cut yours smaller than this too if you want to. Now we're going to put a little bit of heavy whipping cream to start the base of our sauce. Make sure the heat is between medium and low because we don't want to burn anything. And then soon we are going to mix our Parmesan cheese in there. And then we will mix some sharp cheddar, I believe I have, reduced fat. <laughs> And then what we'll do at the very end, just to make sure that jerk flavor um, from the broth of our oxtails, we're gonna use a little bit of the broth and mix it in with this overall. And it's gonna give you that great, great flavor. All right, let me add the cheese. So use some of our pasta water just to kind of stretch the consistency of the heavy whipping cream and it'll kind of give it that starch that we need as well. So probably about a cup of that, half a cup to a cup of that, depending on your liking. All right, so I went ahead and put a little bit of the water from the boiling of the noodles. Keep on standing around a little bit. Our oxtails still have about 30 minutes left. They're almost done, almost done.
All right, so we have that stirred in with the noodles real well. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of our broth from the oxtails. I'm gonna do about two scoops of that. Okay. And then I'm gonna stir it all up. All right, so once you get your oxtails done and tender, you'll probably hold it like this, or you can use a fork to put it in place. Now, that's only if you take it right out of the pot and you let it cool down for a little bit. Now, you really should let it cool down for like 10 to 15 minutes, but because I'm hungry, I had to deal with the heat, so. And then you would use a fork, and then you would just shred like so. And then what you can do if you get chunks, and you can just kind of like dice it up with a knife one or once or twice and then you put it in your pasta. Now here is the final product. This was a lot of work y'all, but hey, it's gonna be so worth it. It's creamy, it's cheesy. You got your bell peppers, your onions, all the different herbs and seasonings, broth seasoning, um, some gravy left from the oxtail that was cooking. And uh, ooh, it look good, it look good. All right, here's the final product. Get those oxtails, you got your fresh sliced grape tomatoes, all the herbs and seasonings. Oh, I cannot wait to dive into this. Let me know below if you like this recipe, as well as if you've made this before. Let me know what your version consists of. But make sure to support this channel with a like and subscribe for your boy. You know we do everything on this channel because it's a melting pot. <laughs> All right, stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, What It Is, Eric, and I appreciate you watching my video right now. But the fun does not stop here. Right after this video, make sure you go check out many, many more videos on my channel. We are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. That is our ultimate goal on this channel. So make sure you tell your friends, your family members, and even your neighbors. We want everybody to know about this channel. <laughs> we are constantly growing one day at a time, and I appreciate you all for your support. And remember, positive vibes only.